What is up everybody? Hazeblade here with a quick tutorial on how to down patch Back for Blood to 1.0 for speedrunning purposes. So the first thing that we're gonna do is head over to GitHub. I will leave a link to this in the description below. And we're gonna download the Steam Depot downpatcher.exe. Now when you click on that, you might get an error asking if you trust the source. You can go ahead and just hit the ellipses there and click keep, hit show more and keep anyway, or whatever options your, your security service provides to you. And once you've allowed that to run through, it'll download it and you can click open file. Click more info, click run anyway, and here is your command line. Now, yours will look a little bit different than mine the first time you run it, because it's actually gonna have command line downloading all of the files for it. But if you launch it again These after that's done, it'll happy. look exactly like mine with an error that just says that the patch is already applied. So once that's done, you can go ahead and close that. We're gonna go to run. We're gonna type in steam colon forward slash forward slash open forward slash console click OK and it's going to open up the Steam console window from that point we're going to use the download underscore depot command space 924970 which is back for blood's app ID space 924971 which is back for blood's depot ID space 1008-3113 2184019, which is the manifest ID. So once you hit enter, it's going to download version 1.0. And once that's done, now keep in mind it's about 25 gigs. So depending on internet speeds, it could range anywhere from a couple minutes to a couple hours to download, just depending on your specific situation. But once that's done, depot download complete will be the next line outputted in the console. You'll get an output directory, which we're going to go ahead and copy. And then we're going to go into Windows Explorer. We're going to paste that without a quotation mark. And it's going to take you to this specific folder. Now, my folder is empty, but normally all of your back for blood files. So specifically these files right here, those are the files that are going to be in this folder. So the best way, most efficient way to get this into your Steam Apps folder is obviously to open up another Windows Explorer tab. You're gonna go into Steam Apps, all, whether that be you know your Steam library on a separate hard drive or on your main hard drive, you're gonna go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, here's all of your games. Now, your current install of Back for Blood is going to be called Back for Blood in this folder. What I would recommend that you do is rename that folder to something like Back for Blood V1.2 or, or B4B or whatever you want, so that way it doesn't recognize that as the main game folder. So in my case, what I did is I renamed it to Back for Blood V1.2. And then, back in where the Back for Blood files would be, you can go up to the parent folder, rename this depot folder to Back for Blood, you're then going to hit cut and then paste into your Steam Apps folder. And then what will happen, of course, is now your newly titled Back for Blood folder will have all of the 1.0 files in it. And from that point, you can just double click on Back for Blood right here from within this folder or launch it through Steam. And it should put you on 1.0. As you can see, we can confirm this on my copy of the game by denoting that this solo campaign is labeled as such down here, which was not the case in the first patch in November, and of course in the December patch that was moved to an entirely different screen uh, upon launching the game by starting offline. So uh, I hope this video has helped. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, just post them in the Back for Blood speedrunning Discord. Um, there's a lot of helpful resources on there, um, and that's ultimately how I was able to do it the first time, and ultimately also how I was able to make this video for you all. So um, if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care of yourselves, guys. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all in a future video. See you then.